China has completed the second ground test on the power system of its next generation carrier rocket in Beijing ahead of its first flight in 2016. The engines of the Long March 5 were test fired by using a non toxic, non polluting liquid propellant. The Long March 5 was first test fired on February the 9th this year. Its rockets are designed for the final chapter of China's three step lunar program, which consists of orbiting, landing, and returning. They will have a payload capacity of 25 tons to low Earth, or low Earth orbits, or 14 tons of geostationary transfer orbits. China started work on carrier rockets in the 1950s. Long March rockets have since become the main carriers for satellites, probes and manned spacecraft. This is the last test of Long March 5's power system before its maiden flight. It means China's utilization of hydrogen has entered the application process. We need to do a good job of follow-up to ensure a successful launch of the carrier rocket and its deep space missions. The application of Long March 5 will substantially promote our capacity to access the space environment, and that means we'll be able to reach world-class levels in space program.